traders, let me summarize my trading day. Uh, we had, um, I had two trades today in Apple and in HRTX. HRTX, I'm still riding with 100 shares and did $1,300 on this one. Uh, Apple just moved up a very, very small profit, just $50. I'm going to finish my Friday, which is not bad for a Friday, $1,400. Now, did finish yesterday over 10 grand, which was an amazing trading day. So I'm going to finish this week very nice in green territory. I had all winners, I believe, this week. Uh, didn't trade much. I mean, I missed one trading session, I think, or maybe two. I can't remember. I was sick. I'm still sick. Hopefully, I'm going to get better next week. So uh, let's take a quick look at uh, these two trades here which I would like to shortly discuss. I post, pointed out HRTX for short under $18. Now, HRTX um, is down right now, 9.3%. It started a bit uh, higher than this. You see, it opened up here, moved up, came down under the lows, did not give us a chance to move it in because these are one minute, minute candles. You just can't move when the second candle is so volatile. So you have to wait for a pullback. Once it did pull back up, it, it, this started being interesting. Now take a look at this $18 mark. It's a whole number. You usually would like to short, if at all, under the whole number. So you see, it came down, couldn't give us a, point, uh, a way to move in, uh, didn't give us a chance to move in. Then uh, moved up, did not go over the high, so it's still up trend, it's still down trending. Came down again. I was hoping it's going to come down here under 18. It did not. I posted it in the trading room, and then I was very happy to see this green candle here. The reason I was very happy to see this green candle here is because <coughs> it gave me a chance to add to my quantity because you know HRTX had the opportunity to move up over the highs, but it did not. It came down and did go under 18, which means this green candle here is a failure to move higher. That's another indication that the stocks really wants to come down. Now that's also a therapeutic, uh, therapeutics company. That means that it's very volatile. Love to trade these stocks, although again, it's a little bit more dangerous than usual. So I was looking at this $18 mark, I took it. You may remember the following. I said, once we traded, I, I mentioned that I'm a bit worried about this red candle. You know, this red candle took us all the way from the highs. You see, you can add to this red candle, this topping tail. This started really here. So it started in the previous candle and it continued in this candle. So in one point something candles, it came down all the way to 18 and continued. Why was I worried? I like to see a stock coming down gradually through my through my um, trigger point. You see, this, for example, here looked perfect. It came down, moved up a bit, came down again, consolidated. If it would have came here under 18, that would just be a regular trade. But it failed to move higher, which is where I would like to add more size. And I did. I started with 4,000 shares and I added 2,000. Therefore, I shorted it with 6,000 right over here. So once it came under under this 18 point, I liked it. I kind of assume it's going to continue down under the lows, which it did. But I was a bit worried because this very big red candle is an indication that things may, you know, that I have to go through a pullback. And I did. So you see, that was the pullback that wasn't very far from taking us out of the trade. I mean, it's still downtrending. Nothing wrong about that. We should have remained. There was a spike here. Another one that took us up, just one minute candles. You may remember I mentioned that if we're going to move over this recent high, I'm going to be out. We did not. We came down again and finally had a beautiful winner. Uh, it took it a long time. It found some a lot of support here at uh, 1785, which was the lows. But once it finally came through, it gave us a, a very nice trade. So I didn't really like that trade too much based on the results, because I was hoping we're going to get a quick move and a quick partial. It took way too long for the stock to come down under the loss, but you can't complain. The stock is trending lower, has done anything wrong. I would have hoped to get a little bit more from a pharmaceutical company. That just did not happen. But one more thing, if you take a look at this red candle, the reason I said it's it, I would expect a pullback is because just take a look at the previous candles. You see, that's here, from here to here, that's a behavior of this private candle. If I'm going to count the cents, you're going to see it's almost the same as this one, meaning that's the personality of this stock. That's how much it can come down. And usually the personality continues. Now take a look at this 
candle here, although that was only the second mini candle, so it may be a bit tricky. But again, the personality of this stock is just like the second candle, the fourth candle, and then this candle. I just didn't expect it to break down another 30 cents and give us the partial we so wanted to get before it pulls back up. So I kind of knew I was expecting it, I didn't know, but I was expecting it to pull back and that we will have to survive a pullback. I mentioned that in the room and hopefully you survive this pullback with me and therefore had a nice trade. Uh, second trade today, this $50 winner I had was Apple, which was extremely annoying. It was extremely annoying um, because, well, the trigger point was right over here, 225. It was extremely annoying because I was expecting it. I mean, Apple had some good news, uh, production of uh, the, the, they increased the production of the iPhone 11 and stuff like that. And, you know, initially it came down, failed to move higher, came down to a new low. It's downtrending. We knew the risk was high, that therefore the quantity in Apple was relatively low was relatively low. I took 800 shares. I knew I have around 50 cent target and 50 cent stop loss. It wasn't, uh, I didn't really reach the target. Maybe it's reaching now, but I'm already out. And, you know, it started going sideways. Then it tried again and failed. Again, did not reach the target and came up and came down. And that was just about where my stop loss should have been. But you know, you never move out on spikes. You always wait for some kind of technical um, technical stop. And it, and it came once more very close to that point. So you see, it did find support at the 224.40. When you see a very clear support like that, you just have no choice but to play the technical game. I don't care if your stop would have been 225.50 just like mine should have been. I mean, of course, a cent under the semi whole number. I don't really care if that's your stop. You know, nobody cares if your stop is 225.50 just like I was expecting it to be, okay, or actually 224.50. Uh, you, 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 you need to give up to the technical formation that really happens once it, re once it reaches that area. And if it comes close to that area and then bounces at the 40, then your stop is 40. It's not 50. You just wait for a small bounce. Your technical formation right there is... Uh, what is really the very technical stop. And then it just continued going sideways. I took the chance where it moved up a few cents over my entry point, took um, $50 profit and moved out. Did I do the right thing? Now, based on the results right now, you may argue, you could argue, you probably should argue <laughs> that I did the wrong thing. But the thing is, at that time, market was really unknown direction, direction-wise. Um, and Apple was just going sideways. And the best the best uh, cue I can give you for a stock that you moved in, doesn't matter if you're long or short, and it's just going sideways, the, 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 the best advice I can give you is just, you know, take a small profit or sometimes small uh, loss and just be done with it. You're at a point where the stock is just going sideways. Did you really know that Apple is going to do that? Did you really know the market is going to move up again and then... You, Apple is going to get there. Well, you could expect it because it's up 2% because um, I, I want to say it's uptrending. It's not. It's it's not uptrending. It's just going sideways for so long. So best advice I can give you guys, just don't be there. Don't trust a stock that is going sideways. You know, if you can take a small profit, be done with it. You're in a, you're in a, in a territory of gambling. You're just in a black or red territory on the roulette. And you don't get free things for that for trading stocks. You want to play the game of black and red? Go to Vegas, get free drinks, don't do it here. So usually that would be the best advice. It could go, could have gone down, you would have a bigger loser, it could have gone up, it did, you could have a very nice winner. I just didn't trust Apple, I didn't feel like being a gambler. So that's it, traders, I'm gonna finish my day up uh, $1,400. And I'm happy for the day and for the week. And I want to thank you all for being with me today. And um, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to give us a thumb up. That would be very nice of you. That would help our, our channel. And don't forget to sign up for some of our free, free services. And um, all of you guys in the main trading room and in YouTube, have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. And um, I'll be very, very happy to trade with you next week. So see you next week. And uh, just enjoy your weekend, spend it with your family, and don't spend your money too fast. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching our video. 
Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.